Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today we're going to jump back into used units with a 2018 Dynamax Force HD 37 TS. So 30, uh, the technical or the actual model code of this is the 37 TS HD. So when you're looking at the Dynamax Force, you have two options, either just the regular Force or the Force HD. The Force HD is gonna upgrade you from the S2RV chassis with the Cummins ISB and a, uh, or with the Cummins ISB to the M2106 chassis with the Cummins ISL, which is going to give you about 300 foot-pounds more of torque bigger transmission, a two-stage engine brake, and it also increases your GVWR to 33,000 pounds and your GCWR to 53,000 pounds. So that's the benefit of going to the Force HD over the just the standard Force. Now, as we're kind of panned out, um, this is a full body paint model. There's no stickers, no decals. They're gonna crack and fade over time. Got the nice big awning here over the patio. Underneath, we do have the LED strips so that you have some lighting if you're sitting under your awning at night. We'll walk around the outside first, then head inside. Let's go ahead and start with storage. Front compartment, empty, just great basement storage. Second compartment, same thing. Now there are two R2. 110 volt outlets up in that compartment. So if you need to power outside, you have outlets available. Up above 32 inch TV, as well as a head unit with speakers. So this is gonna be AM, FM, Bluetooth, as well as a DVD player to connect to this TV. Moving back into the next apartment, just more basement storage. Now. It's nice to have these side swinging baggage doors because it's easy to get in here. These slides are not very deep, so it's not like you really have to crawl all the way underneath to get into this storage compartment. And then we're gonna get into some bigger storage. Now up top here, we will see our gray and black tanks. Those are 52 gallons each. So that is gonna be your sewer as well as your shower water and your sink water. More storage, and that one's gonna be a full pass-through up at the top. So if you have longer items like fishing poles or those folding tables, this would be a great place to keep them. Last but not least, for storage on the passenger side or the door side, another pass-through up on the top of that. So coming around the back, full fiberglass rear cap. We've got LED lights for our tail lights, brake lights, marker lights. Up top, we do have a full color and HD backup camera. And then down below for this M2106, we do have a three inch receiver with a 20,000 pound towing capacity. To the side of that, we've got the seven pin connection for our trailer brakes and trailer lights. On the very back side, on the driver's side, we've got a 20 gallon propane tank. That's just gonna be used for your furnace as well as your hot water. Next compartment, we've got a 50 amp shore power cord. Now something that I really like that Dynamax did here is they put the, uh, the reel itself way up top so that you can still use this as storage. But power reel, so manual extend, power retract. There is a hole down in the floor so you can run that cord through it and still be able to lock this door if you're using it as storage. This is gonna be our plumbing bay. So we'll start left to right. Our water inlet hose. Again, manual extend, power retract. Coming over here, Dynamax did put a macerator pump inside this uh, Force HD. Gray and black tank dump valves. This is the housing for our full house water filter. We winterized this unit being that we're in Colorado. so. We took the water filter off, but you do have a whole house water filter. Exterior shower with hot and cold water, black tank flush, and then light and water pump switch over there on the side so you can turn on your water pump from out here and use that exterior shower.
The next bay is going to be our Cummins Onan Quiet Diesel 8,000 watt generator. Now this is a used coach. This generator has just under 400 hours on it, so just broken in. Now to the left of that, we've also got our hydraulic pump for our equalizer leveling system. More storage. Now this one personally, I would use as the things I'm gonna pull out before I put my slides out when I get to my campground, just because this slide is a little bit deeper. And then we've got our two AGM house batteries and our two 12 volt uh, chassis batteries just used for starting the engine. Now here at TransWest, we do go through these units pretty extensively. We will test all the batteries. If they don't pass the test, we will replace them prior to a new customer ever taking delivery of it. And then more storage as well as your airline, so you can actually use the air compressor on this unit to do things like fill up tires, beach toys. You've also got your 2000 watt inverter in this bay, as well as just electrical components. So moving forward towards the chassis side of things, we've got side bullet cameras. Now those are gonna come on anytime we turn on our blinker to eliminate blind spots on the side of the coach. We've got our def fill, that's your diesel exhaust fluid and then one of your two diesel fuel fills. Now each, or the way that uh, Freightliner does this is we have 50 gallons of diesel fuel on this side, 50 gallons of diesel fuel on the other side, totaling 100 gallons of diesel fuel. They do transfer automatically. And this is gonna be the fuel tank for both the engine and the generator. You don't have a separate generator fuel tank. Now, I mentioned it earlier, but with the Force HD, we upgrade to the Cummins ISL9. That's going to be a 350 horsepower, 1,050 foot-pound of torque engine. And this is the benefit of the Super C as well. You get the front-mounted engine, so everything's a lot easier to access. You also get some frame and bracing up here. So if you're ever in a front-end collision, you actually get some barrier between you and whatever you hit. One of my favorite things about Freightliners always is they do do a gas prop-assisted hood. So it'll actually just hang there until I push down on it. But while we're up here, the stock number of this unit is 5U211733. Again, this is a 2018 Dynamax Force HD 37 triple slide. And just as we come over on this other side, take a look, we have the other side of our 50 gallon fuel tank, or our other 50 gallon fuel tank. So we can pull this unit into a truck stop, use the big truck stop nozzles instead of the small, you know, residential ones, fill up our diesel tank a lot faster. So now we can go ahead and come inside. So as we come in, um, something I really like about this unit is our living room area is huge. So over here on the driver's side, we've got a nice little lounge chair, perfect for two people. There's also two seat belts inside of here. Does have little foot rests that pop up. Great storage up above. Now, the stuff you see in these cabinets right now, this black bag is going to be all the original owner's manuals. The previous owner did not get rid of them, which is good for the next owner, so you have some reference or something to reference. Moving back, the booth dinette. Now this will drop down and make a bed for a child. And then across from that, another lounge chair here. Again, we got the footrest to pop up. And then more cabinets up above. Moving back into the kitchen area, we're gonna start with just a really, really big cabinet. Now me personally, I'd probably find a way to put a shelf in here just to optimize that storage a little bit more. We've got the sharp convection microwave. Moving back, kind of a cool little wine rack here, something I've never actually seen inside of a Super C. Great storage, and then it does open up into a cabinet as well. Down below, more little cabinets. 
They really did a great job of using all the space available to them in this kitchen area. Three drawers. They are all soft closing drawers. So you don't have to worry about your kids or grandkids slamming them. And then a huge cabinet underneath the sink. Plenty of room for a trash can or you can actually use it as storage depending on what you need. And then for additional counter space, we do get the flip up extension. For the sink, we get a two bowl undermount sink. We do have a sprayer nozzle on this faucet. And then a three burner gas cooktop, which is just gonna pull propane directly off of that 20 gallon propane bottle that we saw on the outside of it. Moving back just a little more, we've got a full residential refrigerator. Now a question we always get asked is how do we run this if we're driving down the road and the answer is you just turn your inverter on, the engine will charge your batteries, the batteries will run your inverter. To the left of that, big pantry, nice roll out drawers, we've got a total of five of them. which is going to bring us into the mid bath. Now this 37 TS does have a split bath. So over here, we've got big medicine cabinet, small sink, you got two outlets here. So hair dryer, phone charger, whatever you need. Drawers all the way down for toiletry storage. And then another cabinet Moving into this bathroom, we've got the 36 inch radius shower. So, plenty of room in here, nice and big. Um, we do have the removable shower nozzles so we can take this off, spray where we need to. Great toiletry storage up top here. Again, you can put a shelf in there, make things a little more optimal. And then a towel rack over on the far side of it. Now, also in the middle of this split bath, we've got the Whirlpool stacked washer and dryer. Dryer on top, washer down below. And then moving back into the bedroom, start on the far side here. Really big cedar line hanging storages. Two of them. And then cedar line drawers as well, just for extra, extra wardrobe storage. And a 32 inch TV so that you can watch that while you're in your bed. Now, this coach does have an RTC 20B, which is a satellite dish, which is prepped for either direct TV or dish network. There's five dip switches on there that you have to change to swap between Dish Network and DirecTV. But we can actually prep that for you so you can have satellite TV in both your front and back of the motorhome. Up above the bed, really good storage. Queen bed down below. And then we have two 110 volt outlets on either side of the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this slide up. I don't want to go that way. So we started with the slides open, so we'll get them all closed up so you can see what it looks like while you're traveling. A um, couple things I haven't mentioned. We do have two air conditioning units on top of this, both capable of running off of that 8,000 watt generator. In terms of water, we've got 100 gallons of fresh water and then 52 gallons of gray, 52 gallons of, of black. Go ahead and close this countertop extension. So moving up towards the front, right next to the cab, in these little cabinets, we've got all of our controls for this motorhome. So generator start and stop, as well as a remote uh, hour meter for it. Slide outs in and out, tank heaters on, that's gonna be for your gray and black tanks to keep you out in the winter a little longer. 
water pump on and off, water heater uh, on and off, propane level, battery, fresh, fresh water, black water, gray water, TV arm in and out. I'll show you guys that in just a minute. And then the controls to turn on and off your inverter. Right below that, we've got our Go Power solar controller. So we do have solar on this unit already, as well as our controls for the equalizer auto leveling system. So all we have to do is hit power, auto level, it'll drop all the jacks down, take all the play out of the suspension, and then your auto gen start, or setup, which is gonna be for, if you were leaving the coach for an extended period of time and didn't wanna come home to a dead coach, you can actually set that generator to come on when your batteries get low enough. So you don't ever have to worry about coming into a dead coach. So we're gonna go ahead and put this slide in now. Perfect. And then we will do the driver side slide. Okay, so that's all the way closed up on this Dynamax Force HD. So we can still walk through here. If I want to get to the refrigerator, I can still open both the refrigerator and freezer fully. Into the bathroom, lots of room. And I can even get on the bed. You actually have the full length of your bed. It doesn't tuck underneath any cabinets like you see in some of the other models. So this is going to be your tightest point right here, but it's not hard to get through. Now coming up to the front, we've got the overhead bunk. So this is going to be a 60 by 80 bunk. There is a ladder up there as well as a uh, safety bar that you can plug in right here. That way you don't end up rolling out of it. Now we also have the 43 inch TV up on top of that bunk. So that's what I was telling you about this arm. They put that on a motorized arm. So you push a button, your TV swings out, so you can have a viewing angle of it from the living room. What I really like about that is having it on a power arm, it actually locks back there, so it's not gonna rattle while you're driving. Moving up into the cab area, pretty basic Freightliner M2 chassis. Over on my left side, I've got all of my uh, cruise control controls, as well as my headlights, marker lights, and then the intensity of my dash. Down in the middle here, I've got a step for my tilt and telescoping steering wheel. On the dash, we've got oil pressure, water temperature, transmission temperature, tachometer, speedometer, fuel level, as well as DEF level, and then our air levels for our primary and secondary tanks. Now, this is a used coach. It does have 33,627 miles on it, which is good. It was actually used. It didn't just sit in a barn which means most of the kinks will probably be worked out of it. Over here, we've got a light flash and then fog lamps and our um, rear differential lock. So you use this rear differential lock if you're ever in a slippery situation, you don't wanna use it just driving on dry road. But if you were you know, trying to go up a hill in a snowstorm, you lock this in, both of your rear tires will spin at the same speed, give you more traction. Touchpad for our Allison automatic transmission, power windows, parking brake, mirror heat, power locks, uh, suspension height, so we can actually drop the air out of the suspension on this to help us level out a little bit better. This is an optional switch, it's blank right now. Uh, basically this is just if you wanted to add a light bar or something similar, they give you a dummy switch that you can plug into. Battery boost, if your chassis battery's ever died, we could pull pow power off the house to get uh, power to start the engine engine brake on and off again with the force hd you get the two stage so you have high up and low down and then your standard hvac controls this in the middle here is aftermarket it's something that the previous owner put in and in it we've got two usb ports and one 12 volt receptacle just so we can do things like charge our phone while we're driving and then up top they also put in the cobra cb radio so you can listen to all the truckers talk while you're driving down the road. And I think that's pretty much going to wrap up my walkthrough 
of this 2018 Dynamax Force HD 37 TS. Um, this unit is available. It just came in on trade two or three days ago. So if you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375.